What's up, what's up? We're back with another Wednesday. It's your girl, Carmen D, and my dad, T. Pastor Dumas, thank y'all for allowing us in y'all personal space. And listen, we're so excited to have our third edition of our kids' edition. Thank y'all so much for joining us last week with Susan Kamari and how wonderful she was as a gracious guest. We enjoy, thank her so much for joining us. But tonight, Carmen, I'm excited tonight because we got with us none other than an 11-year-old sensation, Chasten Haynes in the house. Come on. Hey. What's up, Chasten? Oh. How you doing? Good. How about you? Man, we're doing great. We are great. so glad that you were able to come on, man. And so what we like to do for our kids edition, we like to start out with you giving a shout out. Go ahead and give a shout out uh, to you. Know. Go ahead and shout out your family, man. Go ahead. Uh, I like to shout out the Lord for my amazing parents, my godparents, my grandparents, my aunties, uncles, nieces, nephews, my, and my brother and sister. Man, hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's a an amazing love. shout out. That's a lot of love, man. We're glad you did that. So, Chasen, what we've been asking a lot of our, our young viewers, our, our all of our viewers, is because we're all in this coronavirus, and everybody has a voice. And what we said last week to Kamara, uh, a lot of people been making a lot of decisions for your age, um, and we've not heard from your age how you feel about it. First of all, uh, happy belated birthday. You just happy turned 11 years old. Yeah. So we want to get an 11-year-old perspective of the coronavirus. So share that with us, Chase. So coronavirus is basically an air, like a deadly airborne virus, and it can hurt people in different ways. It could put you in a hospital and even cause death. Death? So you saying we catch this thing, we just gonna go meet Jesus, right? Like it could put you in a hospital and sometimes you might survive and sometimes you might not. Exactly, because we got a lot of survivors out here. Now come on now, don't forget about our survivors. That's right, we got some survivors. Chasing, so um what we wanna ask you first, what we wanna talk about first is is that um I know for a fact that you love school. You, I mean, you are, I mean, you would love school, you love school. And so school was really, uh, you know, as I said last week, and I want to say again, it was abruptly stopped. It was halted, a screeching halt. Um, how did you feel in March when they basically told you all that you probably won't be going back to school this year? Uh, well, yeah, last year now, that you would not finish the school year. How did you feel, Chase? Disappointed. Well, you want like, yeah? yeah. Disappointed in what now? I just felt bad because I wanted to finish my school year. Yeah, yeah. So Carmen was asking you, uh, did you feel like what, Carmen? Did you feel like, yeah, we gotta go to school, no more homework, now looking at these teaching faces, you know? No. <laughs> I guess I'll just be the only one that be Yeah, because like, our last week guests felt like they missed school too. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> miss school. Miss school. Stay in school. So what are some of the things um um that you have you know, with this coronavirus, things are going on. What have you found yourself missing more than anything about school? What do you miss about school? Well, I miss my teachers and my friends and eating lunch. Eating lunch. <laughs> Eating lunch. I hear you. Y'all have some good lunch food, I bet. <laughs> so, like, what was your favorite subject in school? Math. Math. Ooh. Mm. Tell us about it. No, so, you like math. <laughs> so, you stopped covering her tracks. You're like, hmm. I see a lot of people have a problem with math, but you love math. Um, did it come easy to you or is it just something that you just love to do? It came easy for me and just it's super easy. You say that now. <laughs> you say that now. I love math when it comes to money. 
Uh-huh. You know, when I'm getting my money, all right, when I'm getting that. But, you know, that's another story for another day. <laughs> so, Jason, um, so what have you been finding? What have you been doing as far as your activities? Now, I know we see a lot of things behind you, but and we're going to get to that. But what have you, um, when you when you finish, because you had to do uh school work uh, on the computer uh, before school was out. How did you get through a normal day uh, by going from the classroom one week and then adjusting to being at home? How, wh- how what, was that, what does that look like for you? Well, like, I, when I woke up, it just, like, felt completely different for me. Like, I, mm-hmm. I felt like I wanted to go back to school. And it just didn't feel mm-hmm. right. Okay. Yeah. It felt oh so right to me. <laughs> with the with this, so how do you feel about um, you know they're saying about going back to school um, next year uh, for the upcoming school year? Um, I don't know the decision that your parents have made yet, but how do you feel about that with school being there? Saying some can stay home, um, some can go to school, but whatever you know, where do you fall in that? Which one would you like to do? I'm gonna stay at home, even though I love going to school. I'm gonna stay at home until this virus gets over with. Like, you so if, if you could tell, if you could tell, Chasen, if you could stand in front of uh, the school board or those individuals who are making decisions, what would you tell them about this? Would you tell? Would you encourage them to let everybody stay home? What would you tell them? I mean, like if you don't have like a computer. Like you, like you need like knowledge, so like mm-hmm. you need to go to school. But if you have like a computer at home or you have enough money for it, might as well just stay at home. I totally agree. I agree. I agree too because you know I feel like now that you know you guys are at an impressionable age, this is something different. And I feel like, you know, this could be in history books because you could be like, you know, years and years from now, you could tell your children, hey, I got homeschooled once upon a time. So tell me about some of this stuff you got going on behind you, dude. Is this one of your extracurricular activities that you do while you're at home during this virus? Yes. So I want you to start start with the smallest and, and, and work our way up. So now we're going to lean on you. Um, and, and, and for you to kind of guide us through what you got going over there. And for all of our listeners, uh, Chasen is 11 years old, and, and these are things that he's been doing for quite a while. Uh, so show us some of your stuff you got, Chasen. Well, this was the first Lego I've made, like, when I was, like, younger. It's like a car. Yeah. Now, how old were you when you made that? I found, like, five, six. Okay, now how long did it take you to get that one together, Chasen? Uh, like a day. Probably took like a day. A day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to even talk about how long it get me to go up. What else you got back there? What else you got? What's your next thing? Then I made this better car right here, a Batman car. Mm-hmm. Did that take you a day as well? No, no, that took not car. I'll answer that one, Chase. Now that one right there took Chase probably about about a month to do. <laughs> that, that's got all those little small parts, that Carmen. Uh, it probably took like two days to make. Two. I'm not even. It took me a whole. It took me five weeks. It took me longer than that to figure out my phone, and it's an iPhone seven. I wouldn't say it. That's what I do. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, Carmen. I mean, it's great. I love my iPhone. Say hello. What else you got, Chase? Then I have this dragon. How long that took you to make? Uh, probably like a day and a half. Skip. Whoa. Wait a minute. So what is the process of you trying to get this? How do you start? Like, how do you know what you want to make? Do you look at a picture? Do you go by instructions? Or you just get up one day, oh, I want to make a dragon. There's, a, there's an instructions, and it tells you how to make it. It's mm. not that hard to follow. Okay. How many pieces is that right there, Tracy? Just that one piece? Mm, like 500. 
Five hundred pieces, and it took you uh, a day and a half. A day and a half. So, were you like one of the kids that you know that that leave their Legos like all over the floor, and it was like, "Hey, I just make some out of that." No, I keep them organized. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's the key to getting everything started. Organization. Okay. All right. Wow. <laughs> I feel like he's throwing shots. No, me? Just, no, it's about Chase. We're talking about Chase. You just look at me. What you got, Chase? <laughs> and I have this one right here. Oh, wow. Now, Chase, now tell us what, what is that right there now? It's a bat cave for Batman. It's a bat the entire cave. bat cave. Yes, sir. I am just in. Now, how many pieces is that? Like 1,300. 1,300. How long did it take you to do that one? A day. How do you do these in a day? <laughs> these are a lot of pieces, and you have a lot going on, and you trying to read instructions, and you trying to put this together. You just, you, you like to multitask. Okay. Jason, so what would you tell, you know, somebody who wants to get in, you know, to build Legos? What would, what would be your advice at any age, even, you know, talk to even my age as well? What's one of the key things to do or uh, in doing Legos? Um, Try to follow the instructions. Aha. To follow get. instructions. See, let me tell you, Justin, I feel like you should really say that again because you know my daddy tries to fix stuff around the house like it's Legos, but it's not Legos, you know, and he don't follow the instructions and you know, sometimes a doorknob maybe fall off and you know windows not on right and you know the sink might be a little runny, you know. So you know, say the instruction part again so the people in the back can hear. They gotta follow the instructions. AKA Pastor Dumas. I'll do better. I, Jason, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, Jason. <laughs> so, Jason, okay. So, let me, let us look, because I want to ask you some other things, but let us look at, at, at some, I see something in the background. Show me some, some of your other things. Okay. What do you want to do? Wanna, uh, right here is my biggest logo I've ever made. Oh wow! It's six thousand twenty pieces. Six thousand and twenty pieces. And how long did it take? If you tell me this took a day chasing, I got some projects for you. Yeah, I got some builders I want you to build. It took a week. One week. Yes, sir. So, chasing. You think you can make it, you know, a life size statue of me? How long are they gonna take? Uh, I don't know, a week or two. A week. Okay, so you know, you need to tell me where to buy the Legos at, how you buy the Legos, and you know what you want to use. We'll talk about that after the show. <laughs> okay. Chase, so, so yeah, show me what else you got. Okay, this is a tower bridge, and it was four thousand pieces. Four thousand. Did it take you two days? It took like three or four days. Wow. You are just blowing my mind over here. You're 11 years old. You're using thousands and thousands of pieces just to make this art. Would you like to be like, would you, you know, is one of your goals to be in a competition to make one? Or have you been in any competitions? Do you want to start competitions? Do you want to start a club? Or what, what do you want to do? If they're competitions, I want to compete in some. Okay, all right. Why not? You know, Chaser, with all the things that are going on, I mean, I, I mean, this is a, this is mind boggling that that I that that you're doing all these things in, in weeks at a time. I, I, there should be some type of Lego club, some type of thing like that. I mean. This is amazing. I'm sure they have them around the country, but we need something like this to get this known because this is amazing what you're doing. Um, and to me, this is a, a sign of like architecture or things like that. What are some of your goals and dreams of if you're doing this at 11 years old? What are some of your goals at, um, when you as you grow up? What are some of your goals you want to achieve? 
Well, I want to be an engineer when I grow up. And okay, you can make some money. <laughs> go, go and, ahead. And I want to play professional soccer. Ah, tell, oh, you like? I see your soccer ball back there. I see your soccer ball back there. So, so you like playing soccer? Yes, sir. How long you been playing soccer? Because you know, most of the time, a lot of people look at football, basketball, things like that. But soccer is a really uh, a fast growing sport, one of the fastest growing sports right now. And so, you've been playing soccer for a while. Yes, sir. How do you like it? I love it. Wow. Well, I used to play a little soccer back in my day in my PE class in high school. And I can give you a couple pointers. Mm hmm. That was kickball she was playing. Now, uh, that was it was kick soccer. It was soccer. Was, they was actually was looking at me, hey, and Jason, they was like, "Oh my God, you should be on the soccer team." But I ain't never bring it to my parents. That was that was kickball. It was not kickball. It, I'm telling you, it was soccer. It had nothing to do with soccer. Didn't have any goals. Didn't have any. We did drills. I got my foot hand eye coordination together. So. So, so let me ask you a question, Chaser. So, what else you, do you have planned for the summer? What else are you making? What else are you got? What other projects do you have in the work? Um, this Lego Bugatti car. Wow. Um, and how long do you feel like it's going to take you to make that? Um, three days. Four days. I guarantee it's now listen, a week. If you, when you make that, when you make that in three days, I need you to take us a snapshot, send us something so we can post it on Stonewell page showing that that thing is completed. I'm going to post it a week later. All right. Yeah, he took it away. <laughs> I believe you're going to be able to do it. I believe it's going to take you a week. <laughs> Prove me wrong in this. <laughs> when are you going to start? Today or tomorrow? Um, probably tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. What else you got? What, what else you got? In my phone. What right else now. you got? What else you showing me? And I you got a lot of I do my Bible. I read that's it. What I'm then I write a chapter. Yes, memorize a chapter down in my book. All right. What now? Okay, so in your book, right now, in your Bible, which one is your? Who's your favorite character that you've read about so far? And can you make him out of Legos? From my favorite character, David. Me and you on it. David is one of my David is one of my favorite people in the Bible as well. Tell tell me why David is your favorite. Because he was like brave. He's mm -hmm. very outgoing and he's passionate about what he does. Now David was the one that was blind, right? <laughs> David did what, man? What did he do? He fought the, the animals. He fought Goliath. Goliath. That's a snake. <laughs> right? oh. Tell me about David. Who is David? Tell her. Go ahead and school her, Chase. Please school her. David's the little boy who's like, who's like farming. Then there was a war. Then Goliath was the big tall man. And mm -hmm. then uh, Go David went to fight Goliath. Goliath started laughing. Mm -hmm. Then Karma came back on him. So David beat up somebody, right? So, oh yeah, I know who's talking about the dude with the stones, right? Yes. He had the pebbles in the. What the thing? About the slingshot. Yeah. Please, Jack. Yep. Help out, help yep. Out. You knew what I was talking about. See, we here. I know what you're talking about now. Okay. I'm going to have to read. Get, you know, I got to brush back up on my Bible. I know my Bible story was new. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, Chase, um, I do remember one time before um, that you know you did the I, the, 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 the I Dream speech by Dr. King. I have a dream speech by Dr. King. And um, at that point, it really moved me. Um, how did you feel, you know, speaking in front of that many people um, during those times? At first, I felt like, but as I went down, like from it, I started getting more comfortable. And I want to tell you this too, Chasen, you know, you're, you're one of our active kids at the church. 
You know, you speak, you've done so many things. How how does church play in your life? How does how how important is church to you? It's very important. Brought me closer to my and it really brought me in it, yeah. That's awesome. That, that's awesome. And I, I'm glad to hear that. Now, you got another question before I jump in? Oh, okay. Because I feel like he's finished. Yeah, I'm, about to, I'm about to dive in. I'm about to dive in. in so, you know, what is what are some new things that you will see, you know, after you come out this summer? What are some new things you want to learn? What grade are you going to? You know, let me let you know what's going on. Oh, we'll be going to second grade after like, being after being in quarantine is over, I just want to go on a vacation. Hey Amen. Where you want to go, Chase? Chase, tell me where you want to go. Don't say Florida. The Bahamas. Yes. Okay, so you know what? We gonna have to plan this together because I want to go too. Because okay. We'll talk. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm with you. I'm so ready to get out of here too. So when this thing is over with, I think everybody's going somewhere. Mm -hmm. So hey, Chase, so let me ask you this question right here. Um, so you are about to go to middle school. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. You, this is your first year of middle school. And I do know it's different. I know it's different right now, but there is going to be a time when you get back into middle school. So how do you feel coming from elementary going into middle school? Well, nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then I feel like like half of the half of the like the school year, I'll probably get my okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I believe those nerves won't even bother you at all because you know why? You'll be at home. You'll be at home learning virtually, and then when you get back to all your friends, y'all just gonna be like, "Hey, I'm used to it." We just, you know, we end this thing. How do you keep up with your friends, Chase? What you? How do you keeping up with all your friends? And how did you do a Zoom party? You doing something I haven't even done yet. Well, that's what. Mm -hmm. How you do, Chase? So how did you do a Zoom party? Sometimes, like when I was doing whole like whole online school, my teacher would do like Zoom calls, and we all get to see each other. And I kind of have some of my friends' phone numbers now. Oh, okay. Did y'all ever get into that moment of like your teacher is talking in the Zoom and then you know you sitting over here trying to text your friend on the laptop like it as if y'all was in class like passing notes? I know I would be doing that. No, no, he, he, no, no, he, he didn't. Y'all didn't do that. No. Oh, okay, they was asking you for answers. I know you ain't got to tell me it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said sometimes. See, I told you. Uh huh. Hey, Chaser. <laughs> Bless Carmen. Um, <laughs> I want to know some. So, uh, how how are you having an older brother and an older uh, you have an older brother and older sister and nieces and nephews. So, how does it feel for you at your age to have nieces and nephews, Jason? Frustrating. Oh, thank you. Okay, somebody. All right, on. talk about it. What, what, what's frustrating? What frustrating? <laughs> And it's very frustrating. Mm. Uh-huh. You're very passionate about it. Let's talk about it for a minute. Well, express your passion. Express yourself, Chaser. <laughs> yeah. oh. I know your I know your mom and, and granny and dad over there like, no, no, no. Tell us what frustrates you, Chaser. Oh, sometimes they be begging to play my game. They won't uh -huh. want me to feed them. They want me to play with them. I gotta do everything. I gotta give them something to drink. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's just like, oh my god, like, like <laughs> y'all got your own stuff. Why my stuff? So you know, I understand. I understand. So you, hey, so so Chase, is it fair to say you love to see them come, but you happy to see them leave? Is that fair to say? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> but you be like, don't touch my Legos. Don't touch my Legos. Yeah, so how are you able to keep such young kids away from all that stuff, Chase? Yeah. I mean, you got all this beautiful stuff. How are you able to keep them away from that? Sometimes if they touch, I tell them, like, to, uh, it's like say if they touch my big Lego, 
I try to take something away from them that they really like. Oh, that hurts. I like, uh-huh. That's right. That hurts. That's right. Hit them where it hurts. <laughs> that hurts. Okay. Man, that's great. That's great. So, Jason, um, before we before we go, what type of advice? What type of advice? You know, because summer's here. Um, we don't know exactly what school is going to completely look like next year. Uh, and so that means, you know, even sports. I mean, do you know what sports is going? We don't even know what sports is going to look like. So, how are you going to to stay sharp? You know, what can what can a kid your age do to stay mentally sharp this summer? Tell somebody what what they can do to stay mentally sharp this summer. Well, Read book. something like you occupy and like try to do stuff that you couldn't do before. Like practice more of your, I don't know, like like school stuff. Mm-hmm. Exercise. Mm-hmm. Exercise. Yeah, I'm trying to say exercise, you know. Okay. All right. Keeping the mind sharp. Okay. Mm, you can also um, try not to eat too much. You can well, eat I need some help with that. Too much. Yes. Mm-hmm. I need some help. <laughs> Not eat so much, you know, run a little, work out a little, do some stuff. Well, not Chase, be watching TV too much. Chase, I want to say this before we go. You know, you have won countless awards. You've been recognized so much as star students. Uh, you've been the leader in your class, galactically, academically. I want to tell you as your pastor, um, as a person in the community, you set some great examples for young kids, young men, young women, your age. And I do feel like with all the stuff that's going on in our world, uh, the things that you and other kids that we've been interviewed, you all should be front page news because there is some good going on. There are some young folks who love God and who are God gifted. And you got a great family support, your mom and dad, and, and everybody does such a great job of making you the man you are. So I want to tell you from, from my heart, from Stonewell Nation and all of our listeners to all of you all, we appreciate everything that you give. And with that being said, what's the last word? You want to give us the last words before we get out of here? Um, Stay safe. Yeah, just stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. That's right. And I also want to thank you for letting us come into your world, see what you do, because I'm going to be waiting on my, you know, life sides me. We'll talk about that. But, you know, thank you for showing us what you do, new habits that we can learn, you know, because I might want to start doing a little Lego. I'm going to let you be the president of our new Lego club, okay. Thomas and Georgia. That's right. Lego club, President Tay. All right. I need to start out with something small, though. Something, start, something real small. Tell him to start fixing the doorknobs. Right here my doorknob fall out one more time. I'm going to follow the instructions for that. You said follow the instructions. That's right. That's what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, Jason, happy belated birthday to you, man. We appreciate you joining us. Tell mom, tell grandma, dad, thank y'all so much for being a part of What's Up Wednesday. God bless you so much. Thank you. God bless. Love you. Bye. Bye.